Are Asians, and particularly East Asians, considered white adjacent? And what does that even mean, David? Let's talk about it. We got to talk about this viral Reddit post. It says, I am just so extremely confused and quite frankly annoyed at the recent influx of comparisons between Asians with white people. It's quite puzzling. There's so many videos and discussions online stating that Asians are just the same as white people or that we desire to be white or that because of our proximity to white people, we have it just as bad or just as easy what's going on andrew the internet is raging on i guess this is kind of a more recent phenomenon of the mm -hmm. past couple years so make sure you like subscribe turn on your notifications andrew we got a list of seven things you have to remember before you talk or when you talk about asians potentially being white adjacent yeah so before we get into that list we got a few quick thoughts and there's some interesting quotes first of all there's a ton of different articles and graphs that are kind of always talking about this because white Asian people sometimes statistically get clump, clumped in with white people just because Asians generally, and this is a generality, gener this is a generalization, I mean, they generally are able to or choose to climb the institutional and corporate ladder quite often and better than other minorities, right? Meaning that Asians do achieve higher in the schooling, in the corporate structure. In a corporate sense. Yes. If you look at a lot of corporations, you're thinking of a lot of whites and Asians. Yes, that is, yeah, that is true. But and, and look at this chart. This chart actually, because I was trying to find a chart of white adjacency to see if a scientist actually broke it down. Mm. I could not find one. I found different charts for like adjacent angles and different geometry. But there is this one chart where there's this black guy a Latino is standing on the black guy's shoulders. Then there's that Asian begrudgingly standing on the Latino shoulders. And then there's a white guy who looks like Donald Trump at the top going, yippee! Yeah, that's a that's that's a pretty good photo. I'm not going to lie. That's a good work of art. But I, I really don't think it, like, describes everything. That's pretty much, like, saying that everybody's just, like, uh, you know, on top of the black guy and, like, using them as no, a going by stepping on his color, head. color, right? Yeah, and stepping on his head to get on up. And I don't know if that's actually how it works. I disagree with that. But anyways, um, I do think that there are, obviously, David, we know that there are reasons why people say Asians and white are adjacent. Obviously, there's also the interracial marriage statistic. Uh, particularly for Asian women marrying white men, which adds to the argument, by the way, and we have to acknowledge that, that I, that is one of the points that probably people talk to is the intermixing. Uh, so then I, I guess the truth is to me, some Asians lean to be more white. Of course. For sure. Of course there are some Asians that do that, but I think to use it as a monolith and say Asians Okay, especially Asians, which are not a monolith, and even East Asians are not a monolith. But even if you just say East Asians are white adjacent, I'm like, I know you're trying to sound like woke and stuff, but you're actually just reducing everybody into these two groups. Right. Because not all white people are the same. Right. You have your Eminem, your Appalachian whites, all the way up to your soccer mom, Starbucks sort of minivan whites all the way up to like white people who are building like billion dollar hedge fund funded mansions in Florida. Right. Right. Like, right. Like there's a whole spectrum of everybody, but it is true. I will say this, that certain communities are more heavily weighted in terms of bulk distribution in certain income ranges and outcomes. That's absolutely mm -hmm. true. Um, let's just take a look real quick, Andrew, um, unpacked when you get into the granular data, AAPI, Asian American Pacific Lander, Islander income is very wide ranging. Actually, Asian Indian is at the very top. Micronesian, Bhutanese, Burmese is at the bottom. Um, David, of the Asians, who do you think is even the most white adjacent if we had to play this game? If you want me to say it and keep it super real, and by the way, I don't think any Asians are can really achieve what like WASP, white Anglo-Saxon people or whatever have achieved or like their status. I, I mean, it's like, I would say a elite Hindu Brahmin Indian man and a beautiful East Asian woman could be have the potential to be the most white adjacent <laughs> of any groups, of any of the hyper grant, if we break it down, subgroup of right, a subgroup. Right, you almost got it. Guys, we got to come on. It's 2024. If you're going to make statements like that, you got to be more exact. You got to have the profile of the type of Asian that you're referring to because not all Asians are the same. Yeah, because they don't have all the same desires. And even behind that desire, do they have the capacities to execute on that desire? Right. Um, right. anyway, guys, let's just get into the list, man. This whole thing could go on forever. Um, point number one, the first thing you need to think about when you need to ask if East Asians in particular, all Asians are white adjacent is that people tend to define white people as rich white people. 
Ah, good point. Like we said, what white people you talking about here? Because, you know, I know a lot of white people I'm with, they're they're out in the sticks with everybody right. else. And a lot of people, when they're thinking about Asians or particular East Asians, and they're thinking about the rich ones. Is it because of media like crazy rich Asians that makes people go, yeah, the rich Asians that want to become richer, they're coming to a white dominant land, so they chase whiteness to even double down or regain the status that they lost from the arbitrage of going downside from Asia. Yeah, but what about like really rich like black families? Like there's a lot of really rich black families and maybe some of them are of lighter skin tone. Like they might- But, but they could feel... be from a rich Nigerian, like more- No, but uh, like, I, I'm, uh, are we talking family. class or we're talking skin color here? Or we're talking about culture. Obviously, anybody in America can be whitewashed, man. Like anybody can act that way we've seen it all happen with different skin colors and You're that just was saying, the whole carlton versus will smith analogy right 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 moving on to point number two andrew a creation by elements on both sides of the political spectrum just to divide us and jujitsu us onto their side whether they want us to align with the 50 percent of white liberals or the 50 percent of white conservatives this was white the term white adjacency was created either by the left or the right to try to control the asian mind yeah who cares like, don't, like, I think if you're an Asian American and you're like, hey, you know, uh, my white friends always tell me I'm whiter than them, then you got to ask yourself why. I'm not saying that they're right. I'm not saying that they're correct. They may be viewing it differently, but I'm saying you got to ask some Asians and ask your friends why they call you that. Maybe you only date white people. Maybe you only want to hang out with white people. Maybe you, you don't even want to try different Asian foods while your white friends want to. <clears throat> maybe that's why, maybe you don't ever want to talk about race. Maybe you never want to think that racist things ever happen to you or that there's even microaggressions. Or maybe you're just like, I don't know. I just felt like everybody else. Maybe that's you trying to reach whiteness, you know? So you have to ask yourself, why would people say that to you over and over again? Are you referring to this quote right here from this Chinese American girl? Yes. Yes, I am referring to that quote. This quote right here. Ask yourself why they keep saying that. Somebody's uh, point number three. How can Asians be white adjacent if Asian men are at the bottom of the totem pole socially and white men are at the top? Already right off there, is there doesn't that already make it super different if That's, Asian guys are at the bottom of this, not the economic, the social totem pole and white guys are at the top. Does this, and then somebody said, does this mean that Asian men are definitely not white adjacent, but Asian women can be? Hey, I'm not even trying to split us up like that because I think Asian men and Asian women, we already need to have more conversations of being more united in many ways. But essentially, I would say that that is kind of true. I would say it's kind of true that I think a well-off, educated East Asian woman gotta have Western features too. I'm gonna throw is that in there. more likely to be considered white adjacent than her male counterpart for sure. Dudes, possibly I definitely don't infinitely because the guys get considered quasi enemy combatants from the 1940s or 50s or 60s yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, this point number four. What if Asians had super granular data, not only on their own subgroup, but the subgroup of the subgroup that they're from, the specific immigration wave? That way you would know whether you are a BIPOC Asian or a dominant, like just trying to go with their dominant rich class Asian. Mm -hmm. Do you think more granular data would work, Andrew? Because some people were saying that countries such as India or China, they produce such a gigantic income disparity. You can't even group country of origin together that's true that's true but also i don't even know dude yeah that's why dude like i said man it's an interesting point i don't know if the government i know that the government allows certain groups to have granular data and right now andrew even within the african-american world there's so many african immigrants coming that they're discussing whether they want to disaggregate the black statistics mm. so like i said it's a debate within every community with valid points on all sides because some people say this is the pro this is the con um point number five a lot of people that are Asian get told by other POC that they're not true POC. Yeah. I guess, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I do think a lot of Asians fall into a weird space where they're definitely not considered colored because I think it's so funny that we use the word colored because colored is like an old school term, but we like brought it back and was like, oh yeah, yeah, this term colored is a good term. We should really use this back in 2024, guys, even though they started using it in like 1940 or whatever. Uh, 
Colored because colored is just going off the skin color, which nowadays, as people are mixed, it is getting a little bit more complicated right. because you can't just go off skin color. And also skin color, skin tone, because Asians, we might be light skinned, a lot of us, but a lot of us have a yellow tan undertone, which is not like white, like, you know, like white people, like certain Irish people I've seen or certain skin. Western Europeans. Yeah, they're like see-through. Yeah, pink. they're like pale see-through. I'm not saying they're all see-through, but you can see their veins and I'm like, yeah, like we kind of have like this yellow undertone that's why they call us the yellow people but i'm like so is are we being exact on the exact skin tone like is there like a skin check like is someone gonna like is there like a scanner like a, right. you know how like people can beep like people's fake uh gold chains and diamonds yeah the diamond yeah. tester yeah the diamond tester beep beep like can't you just beep your skin and it like flashes a light through your <laughs> epidermis and it scans like how much You're melanin saying, you instead have of like the jedi midichlorian level it's this is a melanation yeah level. it's just like it's just beep 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 yeah it has an undertone uh, you're kind of colored yeah, I mean, there was a lot of comments talking about it's just a byproduct of a white-black binary that is far too outdated for 2024, but it seems like the people who run America, some people still want to fit everybody into a white-black binary when it doesn't make any sense considering America's the most diverse nation on Earth nowadays in 2024. I would agree with that. Um, so, so according to a lot of statistics, Andrew, Asians view ourselves as non-white, but whites, when asked that questions, do view Asians as white adjacent. This is according to the new status update 2024 right, right, done right. by TAF. And basically, I'll say this. When white people categorize things, and this is going to sound crazy. You guys, listen, I'm acknowledging it's going to sound crazy. I feel like white people go, well, you know, I don't see Asians like twerking. So Asians are more like us because we, you know, that, like there's no twerking. So I feel like that is how Asians, almost uh, white people like define Asians. But we know that while, you know, whether we do that or not, we know that there's so much stuff that makes us more different. <laughs> right, right. I would say just because, yeah, I think in a simplistic way, people are like, oh, Asians do what white people do. But then, like, if you actually delve into the Asian mind, it's like we're doing it for different reasons. Like, just because Asians can work the same jobs as many white people like or, doesn't or want to work those yeah, jobs. Yeah, or want right? to work those jobs. That's just because Asians are hardworking. It's not really because they want to be white. Of course, there is a desire to be the dominant group. White people seem to have it the most comfortable. So there is it seem like that's the sense, best mix, right? Yeah, from everybody, whether you're a white Latino or even you're like a white black person or whatever, a light skinned black person or like a, a, a white facing Asian, it's like of course, white people seem to have it together the most still in this country. So you kind of want their structures and what they have, like their feeling of being white. They have equity in all the largest yeah. companies. They own everything. They from the feel top comfortable down. everywhere they go. Or if they don't feel comfortable, they know not to go there. That is true. You don't see white people worrying about like, you know, checking their <laughs> six all the time too, unless they're, you know, in the combat zone. Um, Somebody said that I think that Asians are very different because we're clearly not white, but we also don't deal with what is defined in America as BIPOC struggles because we do not deal with any sort of police violence or over-policing or anything like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, if you define BIPOC struggles as a struggle against the machine and struggling against the machine being specifically like beefing with the police or uh, law enforcement then I would say that it's like, that's why I was saying that Asians, we are BIPOC, but we might be like diet BIPOC or BIPOC light. Mm. That like might be what the category actually is. I, I actually throw away the whole caring about the binary in general, but if you made me say. Mm. Semi BIPOC. Yeah, semi BIPOC for sure. Point number seven, Asians are considered, Andrew, this is not my words, Schrodinger's minority. If you guys know about Schrodinger, Andrew, he did a, uh, basically, a, it's like a radioactive test where like a cat could be dead and alive at the same time. So he's saying we're considered minorities when it's useful for us to be minorities and we're considered white to, for when it's useful for us to be white. Conversely, it's also useful for us to be minorities when minorities need us to be, but I guess also white people could try to use us as on their side if there's a struggle between whites and POCs. Mm. So basically, Andrew, is there a struggle between whites and POCs and then each side is maybe in a way trying to recruit the Asians to think more like their side? Yeah, overall, I would say you as an individual may be white adjacent, but I do not believe and I would never say that Asians as a whole are white adjacent. That seems crazy to me. Uh, so I think individuals 
can be black adjacent. There are Asians that I know that are Latino adjacent, that it seems like, and there are Asians that I know that are more white adjacent. Right. But I do not, I would never describe the entire group of Asians, right? Now, if you say, is a upper middle class educated Taiwanese girl seem like she could be more white adjacent. First of all, I can't even say that she is because I don't know her as a person, but perhaps that person in that position may feel closer right. to whatever but, you consider uppity whites. But again, you're also only referring to rich whites. But also, what if she embraces the BIPOC struggle, but she embraces the BIPOC struggle like a white person does? Like, dude, not even in dude, the way see, of actually being a see, POC, man, right? I, I don't know. I just don't know why people are trying to put Asians in a box. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would just say this, man. I think it's open to interpretation, and it could be co-opted in jujitsu for selfish reasons by other groups out there. So, really, the truth is, if you're Asian, I encourage you to not spend any time thinking about this. You can understand that this debate is out there, but me, personally, I don't lose any sleep over it. Like, think about it. One of my best friends growing up was named Chris Fortson, and he was from, like, some people consider him, like, uh, uh, like from, you know, from the hood, like, they consider him, like, a bougie black guy, but we used to go, like, freestyle together, and we played on the football team and the basketball team together, but, you know, he had both parents, and they would go to DNC fundraisers, and they met Bill Clinton, and they, like, had Mercedes and Escalades and stuff, so what, what are they, like, what were they? Like, they were clearly BIPOC, but then they were, like, had nicer stuff than a lot of Asians mm. or even white people. So I, I don't know, man. Listen, guys, let me know in the comments section below. Um, I think it has to do a lot with more with class actually than skin color. But in America, most people go off skin color. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this white black binary. What do you guys think about Asians and particularly East Asians being white adjacent in the comment section below until next time we the hop hop boys. We out. Peace.